We're at AWS Reinforce 2024, and we got a chance to speak to Bridget Johnson, who is a GM for IAM Access Analyzer. We got to speak about the customer use cases, how people are using Access Analyzer for not just finding unused access, but also being able to prevent using preview policies to understand, hey, what policy would actually make more sense instead of using an overly permissive policy. A lot more announcements came through, and we spoke about all of that in this episode of Cloud Security Podcast. I hope you enjoy this episode with Bridget Johnson from AWS. If you are here for second or third time, if you enjoy this content, what you're hearing and watching, Definitely give us a subscribe and follow on your audio platforms and video platforms. Otherwise, enjoy this episode. I'll see you soon. Welcome to AWS Reinforce conversation here with about IAM, specifically Access Analyzer. Welcome to the show. I'm happy to well, be back. I'm excited to talk to you, but maybe if you can tell us a bit about yourself so the audience get to know Bridget as well. And Pickle. <laughs> uh, yeah, so my name is Bridget Johnson. I'm a director in AWS Identity. I've been in AWS and Identity for 10 years. I just celebrated my 10 years, so that's wow. really exciting. So I, I do everything access controls. I really like it. I, I have a passion around helping everyone who's building on the cloud get to the right access controls and the right permissions. So I like that for both their workloads and their human users. And I do have a horse, his name is Pickles. Mm. And I'll share that this year we started showing him. So it's very exciting. Oh, wow. He's won a first place ribbon. So wow, already. I'm very excited, yeah. Wow, okay. You touched on the whole workload identity and human identity. A lot of the industry kind of calls out as human and non-human users. Yes. What is that in AWS specifically? And you go to the bit more yeah. granularity of it. Yeah, so when we talk about access in AWS, access is going to happen through roles, no matter yeah. what, right? And so you're going to have an identity maybe coming in from your for human users coming in through an identity provider you'll federate into AWS and you'll assume a role you'll get short-term credentials and then those credentials will have access to pop around AWS maybe provision some things maybe yeah. explore some new services that got launched and that's the human use case and then you also have your workloads and mm -hmm. those are going to be your lambda functions who are also going to assume a role as a yeah. lambda service and then access DynamoDB or access some data and so it all comes down to those roles and what permissions those roles have have. When people say non-human users in the general industry, what they're referring to is the roles or IAM roles in the context of AWS. Yeah, and there's different ways to do workload identity, but a lot of it in AWS is going to come down to a service assuming a role, and that's how they'll get access to certain things. Talking about access as well, Access Analyzer. How would you define Access Analyzer for people who have not heard of the service yet? Access Analyzer is all about helping folks get to the right permissions. Yep. And so we do that in two ways. One is helping a central security team identify um, broad permissions, inspect their whole entire AWS environment, figure out where they need to go spend some time and attention. And then we are also investing in helping the developers get to the right answer earlier when it comes to permissions. And we think of this as a life cycle, right? You set your permissions, you verify that they work, you verify they're not broad, and then you refine them further. These days, no one really has just one account anymore. They have multiple accounts because Access Analyze goes across all the accounts. Yeah, well. so a lot of our analysis is enabled at the organization level, okay. but then, which we just launched, recommendations to remediate broad access, you'll want to do that down in the actual account because that's where the permissions are. So right, it's a little right. bit of a, a two-sided story. Yeah. Oh, actually, so what, what are the two announcements from Reinforce? Yeah, last time we talked, we announced that Access Analyzer, you can go to the org level or within the account level yeah. and turn on unused access findings. And that will go through and find your unused access keys, your unused roles, if you created them, unused IAM passwords, don't want those lying around. And then for things that are used, it will give you your unused services and actions. So you yeah. let's say, hey, you have this role, you granted all these permissions, you're only using this subset. So that was as of a week ago. As of yesterday, now you can go to that finding and it will be like, okay, now I have all these broad permissions, what do I do? Oh, you can click on a button that says preview policy and you'll see the old policy that's broad and the new policy that has removed the actions that you didn't use. And so it's really easy. Yesterday I did a demo on stage, it was so cool. I like copy pasted, I was like, let's just, go for it, see if it works, and we copied, paste, reduced the permissions, finding was remediated, everything still works because it's based on data. And, and that's a story, but uh, you have your central security team, you're gonna identify broad access, and then you pop down into the account, maybe it's your prod account, maybe it's a dev account, wherever you're at, and then easily reduce that access. Because I think people usually think of IAM access keys as just the Ashish, where the local user inside AWS access keys. How does this kind of apply to those broader other pieces that people normally get worried about? So when we think about AWS access controls, we have access controls in multiple places, right? And this is so you can define fine grain permissions, who can access what, under which conditions. So we have service control policies where you can restrict access for your org. Yeah. But then when you're looking at ac granting access, you can either do it from a role 
or for some resource types, you can actually say, she's just allowed to access this bucket or anybody in my org can access this bucket. DynamoDB just, just launched resource-based policies, so a similar use case. They did yeah. launch with block public access mm -hmm. on. Oh, nice. So there's no <laughs> gonna be no public DynamoDB table, mm -hmm. so that's really nice. So then you're granting direct cross-account access to those resources. Yeah. So what you can do with Access Analyzer is you're like, okay, I have all these resources. We like to focus on the data resources mm -hmm. types. And with Access Analyzer, you, you turn on the analyzer and it will identify uh, any public resources you have, so buckets, SQSQs, but also identifies external access. So maybe I have shared with you my DynamoDB table, mm. maybe you're outside my organization, probably central security wants to make sure that you're a trusted yeah. entity. Yeah. In the world of AI that we're moving into, this kind of has become a lot more prominent because a lot of people are working towards that data security project. Mm -hmm. And one of the biggest things would be who has access and how much access does this individual have? Yep. Are you finding that people are using access or customers are using Access Analyzer as a way to like, well, the streamline or what's the use case customers are using it for at the moment? Two, I think one, we talked about the central security team yep. and you're just like, okay, I wanna make sure that I have the right permissions trending in the right direction uh, across my environment. The other one is just helping developers get to the right answer sooner, right? Mm. And so we, we launched a few checks at reInvent um, called custom policy checks. And this is where teams, I'll say, and companies can define their security standards and then run these checks. We're seeing customers put them in CICD pipelines, in tooling. We have a few AWS toolkit integration, CloudFormation mm. integration. And you basically define what you care about, right? Yeah, and you're like, yeah. hey, I don't think people should be granting access to delete my crown jewels, pickles, DynamoDB table. So I'm going to make sure every policy doesn't grant that access yeah. unless it's maybe an exception. And all these checks are based off of provable security. Yeah. So automated reasoning. So it's not just parsing. It's not just Bridget <laughs> looking at the policy. It, it actually has a, a math-based um, proof along with it. Wow. Um, so that, that's really powerful. And what we just added yesterday was check no public access. So when you're going around and you're putting policies on your buckets, on your DynamoDB tables, on your roles, all the things, it, you can basically say, let's just make sure this policy is not going to grant public access yeah. before I touch it. And so shifting that verification earlier, closer to development, to give people some feedback and, and kind of confidence that they got the right thing going on. Awesome. It's also good to see the IAM space evolve quite a bit because I started in IAM my career. So yeah. kind of, I have a soft, yeah. always been a soft corner in the cloud space because identity is the most important parameter. So I definitely hope people listen to this, use Access Analyzer and figure out who's actually overtly permissive across the entire AWS yeah. account space. And I think you started with some people were not aware of Access Analyzer. And I would just say for anybody who is working with permissions in the cloud, which if you're building or if you're a human user, there's probably some permission in there somewhere to take a look at Access Analyzer because what we're trying to do is put the tools where people are setting those permissions where they need them yeah. and help you. Yeah, get and it's all right API access. enabled as well. So people actually- All API, there's some console, we have some dashboards if you enable at the org level, yeah. so uh, a little bit of something for everyone. Yeah, and they can integrate this with their CICD pipeline and otherwise as well, you mentioned as yep, well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so. awesome. No, thank you so much for sharing all of that. Yeah. I really appreciate this. Awesome. I mean, I, well, now you know what Access Analyzer part two, there's part three at reInvent coming. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so, so much for yeah, coming thanks. on the show. Thank you for listening or watching this episode of Cloud Security Podcast. We have been running for the past five years, so I'm sure we haven't covered everything cloud security yet. And if there's a particular cloud security topic that we can cover for you in an interview format on Cloud Security Podcast, podcast or make a training video on tutorials on Cloud Security Bootcamp, definitely reach out to us on info at cloudsecuritypodcast.gv. By the way, if you're interested in AI and cybersecurity, as many cybersecurity leaders are, you might be interested in our sister podcast called AI Cybersecurity Podcast, which I run with former CSO of Robinhood, Caleb Seema, where we talk about everything AI and cybersecurity. How can organizations deal with cybersecurity on AI systems, AI platforms, whatever AI has to bring next as an evolution of chat, GPT, and everything else continues. If you have any other suggestions, definitely drop them on info at cloudsecuritypodcast.tv. I'll drop that in the description and the show notes as well so you can reach out to us easily. Otherwise, I will see you in the next episode. Peace.